And welcome to the Butterfly Palace, Brenton, Missouri. Open 8 to 5, daily. So when you walk in, there is lots of gift shop stuff. There's weird people with blue hair. And all sorts. What'd you find? Oh, she's finding stuff to buy. And then if you look around, you can see that there is lots of butterfly things and wind chimes decorations. So there's a mirror maze, there's a movie theater, there is a rainfall onion tree adventure, and all sorts of stuff. So this will give you a little better idea of all the gift shop stuff. You get some neat, neat things and then lots of shirts. And then you can actually start your tour with the ramp. Up there they'll take you to the butterflies. Let's see, the Emerald Forest Mirror Maze. You must read these guidelines. So do they give a reading test? I wonder. All children under age 12 must be accompanied by an adult. I'm sorry, Amber, you can't go by yourself. So we're following Amber. So that way if Amber if anybody walks into a wall, it's going to be Amber, and then I can laugh. This is definitely not the same as Tom Sawyer Island. No, you smacked into that wall hard. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> I do wish that we had video of that. That would have been hysterical. Look, creepy people with cameras. Okay, nice. So it's got the jungle feel. Mm -hmm. And when you get out, you get to step on kitters. Boom, boom, boom. So let's see. He's a chameleon. He's right there. Uh, it's actually an anole. It's a false chameleon. So, if you are needing assistance or you're lazy. <laughs> One of the two, they do have scooters here for people. Amber is finding friends. Cute. That is cute. Okay. It's adorable. He's a door. <laughs> but you can see they've got a number of different things here. All sorts of little displays. I, I don't know, there's just something inappropriate about the way this guy's posing. He weird. He's a poke gecko. His polka dots are pretty. He's here for toke and not for tokaro. Yeah. So if you ever want to see a piranha head on, there you go. He doesn't look so bad. Oh, does that one have his fangs poking out? Yeah, look at his little fangs. That was yep. There are creatures that does, look that one have her fangs poking out? And this is the most dangerous thing here. They're little tiny frogs. Mm, little tiny frogs. I would love to have a dress with these kind of patterns. Let's see here. Give you a close up. Like a little spot. The danger. Back. The terror. The poison. The insta kill. <laughs> yes, these are the frogs that can one shot you. I don't think it's an insta kill. I think it's a slow death. So, this is a marine cane toad. That arrow is actually pointing right at him. Can you see him? Let's zoom in. There he is. Can I give you a hand? 
give you a little look. Over as you come up, this is where the actual butterfly area is. And Amber is excited because she's finding a pretty lamp. And butterflies and all sorts of stuff. So the Banyan Tree Adventure is a kids climbing jungle gym area. So kind of fun. You get neat chairs. They have places to hang up coats and things, so you don't carry off any butterflies. You can get a look at the room. Look, crazy people. And we'll be going in here. So, we'll keep caught by butterflies right away. Um, okay, now this is awesome. We have explorers. And you can see butterfly tables. Date, come on. Yeah, a little look inside. Sure. It's a busy day today, but you can see the butterflies. Oh, come here, my friend. Oh, so so cool. see. All the butterflies. So one of the things that they let you do is. They've got these little feeders here that you can hold and let them come to you. Amber's got one. So what you do is you just stand, hold it still, and wait. I just had one land on me while I was filming. Hello. They seem to like my red shirt. We think your buttons are flowers. Maybe. He's trying to lick out the nectar in it, but it's not working. Sorry, no meal for you. Poor Margaret's not catching any butterflies. I keep catching them. She hasn't caught one yet. Oh, I thought that was going to be hers. This is sad, Margaret. She no get no butterfly. So if you like flowers too, and plants, there is all sorts of things. Orchids and Margaret finally got one. <laughs> It's very pretty here. Wow, oh, this lady's like got all sorts of them. As you can see, they do have benches and all sorts of stuff. She finally got one that likes her. Love some of the flowers. I can't tell if that one's real or not. It looks real. It has a but, plastic stand in order to help hold it up while it's going yeah. from that knot of roots there. But just uh, some really neat plants so they've got orchids and other things in here this would be really nice on a day that's not quite so busy you just sit and relax and yeah I've got I've got one on my sleeve that's just been there I'm trying to get a close-up of this one I mean he's a cool looking guy he's just sitting there it's like arsenic green Arsenic green is a great green color. Arsenic green. Yeah. Pretty but deadly. They used to use arsenic for a bunch of different kinds of wallpaper, but then they realized arsenic was poisonous. Okay. Yep, birds as well. That is pretty. Been down here eating off the stuff here in the pan a little while ago. Just another little overview kind of showing the whole length of the greenhouse area here. And I still have this other one on my arm. He just thinks I'm cool, I guess. I'm his bud. But if you look close, you can see all of them up there along the ceiling. There's a lot of butterflies in here. 
can you identify the butterfly according to the butterfly chart? He's making it easy for you. So this is the facility where they keep on cocoons. And you see they've got a bunch of them there that they take care of. And eventually they get released out here. Those bright green ones on the left are the fresher ones and the brown ones are about the top. And they've got sharks that help keep track of them. You can see a bunch of the brand new baby uh, cocoons down there on the bottom. Yeah. So when we're done, you place your little flowers here, just like that. You remove critters that are hanging around you. Make sure you remove all critters. It's not showing on your camera. Yeah, it is. He just doesn't want to go. Shall I help you, George? There he goes. So you do have a movie theater. There's a couple different movies that they show. One on the Migration Butterflies. Another. So right there, along with the restrooms and other stuff. So be sure to check those out as well. Love the murals. One of the employees came down with a skink. And here goes Amber. Ooh. So the Maruke has a lot more color. This one's technically not from the rainforest, but back in 2007, when we were looking for a blue tongue, he was the only one we were able to get a hold of. There's a look at the Butterfly Palace for you. It is open year round, not just seasonally, so you can come check it out any time of the year. Prices for admission do fluctuate. It doesn't cost anything to see the gift shop, but everything else does. Be sure to look for discount coupons, whether it's in publications in town or online or other places. There are some good discounts available uh, that can actually make it quite affordable to come visit. We had a lot of fun. We've been here before, uh, but first chance to show it off. It's just a nice, fun time. It'll take you about an hour, hour and a half, typically, to see everything here. Definitely worth a stop. Thanks so much for joining us along the way. Thank you again to my patrons and supporters for helping make stops like this possible. And thank you so incredibly much for watching. God bless. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts, your comments, your suggestions, your ideas. Be sure to share them in the comments below, or you can contact me. There's information in the description that has my email address, fan pages, information about merchandise, and so much more. So be sure to check that out. Don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and if you haven't already, hit the button right up there to subscribe. And in fact, if you did enjoy this, I've even got another video for you right here. And also about these wonderful people here, those are my YouTube members and my patrons, the ones whose financial support makes this possible. I couldn't do it without them. If you want to know more about that and the perks that come with it, well, be sure to check the description. There's a link right down there. Thank you so incredibly much. God bless.